Hi everyone, it's Ronnie with Plan to Eat, and today I would like to give you three tips on how you can solve the ever-present question of what's for dinner. So we all know that figuring out what's for dinner every single night can be a big task, but meal planning can help. And if you already do some meal planning, you're on the right track. The first thing on the list to solving the problem of what's for dinner is to simply set aside a date and a time every single week so that you get your meal planning done. It's important that you pick a day and a time every week to do your meal planning because otherwise you might put it off or forget about it. I personally like to do my meal planning on Monday mornings with a cup of coffee and I just spend 15 or 20 minutes and I get everything done for the week so then I can go grocery shopping later in the day before dinner happens. Tip number two is to have a large possibility of recipes that you could plan from. Now it might feel like if you have a lot of recipes, it could be overwhelming to choose a specific recipe, but you can always pick a recipe at random or you can fall back on defaults that your family loves. I recommend having some recipes that you know are family favorites, some that you know are quick and easy to make, and then having a few that are fun or maybe special for special occasions. I personally like to try a few new recipes every month and while some of them don't always turn out great, some of them have become our family favorites and it's really fun to add new ones into the rotation. Tip number three is to know your schedule before you start meal planning. This is going to be really important if you want to avoid eating out or going through the drive through on your way home, particularly on busy nights. It's good to know when you're going to have less time for cooking so you can either plan a simple meal or you can plan to have leftovers for that night. Additionally, if you don't plan around any events or dinner parties that you have going on in a week, you might buy too much food at the grocery store that then potentially could get wasted. Planning ahead is the best way to solve the ever-present question of what's for dinner, and Plan to Eat can help you with that. Plan to Eat is a DIY meal planner. It has a spot for all of your recipes, it has a meal planning calendar, and then a shopping list is generated for you based off of your meal plan. If you have questions about Plan to Eat, you can email us at help at and get started meal planning. Your future self will thank you.